Hey guys, so I'm back. I'm back to making videos. Um, I haven't made a video for you guys in what seems to be a good year. Um, and don't worry, I have a reason. I do, I promise. Um, if most of you followed me on Instagram or on Tumblr or my blog or whatever before I stopped making videos last year, you guys probably know that I actually lived in Texas. Um, but, um, I actually moved. In January, I moved to Connecticut, which you can probably tell is a really, really long, really, really big move. And I moved with myself. I didn't move with my family. So this whole year has been a whole lot of trying to figure out everything, trying to kind of rehome myself and kind of feel comfortable. Um, it's been almost 11 months since I actually moved and I'm finally getting to the point where I really feel like Connecticut is going to be my home and I'm starting to not feel as homesick as I um, as I did when I first moved because like I said my family is not here it's just me my boyfriend and my dog so um, since I started to finally feel comfortable with where I am in life and with just how everything is going in my life, I decided that I would start filming, or at least try to start filming. Um, as you can tell, my background is very bare. There's nothing there. Um, there's probably going to be no decorations up here for my next couple of videos because we do plan on moving again within the first couple of months of next year. So this is going to stay bare. If you don't mind it, that's cool. If you want something back there, I'll try and do something for you, just let me know. <laughs> um, but I, just like I said, I decided to start making videos again. And instead of actually diving headfirst into tutorials, I decided that I was going to skip a makeup tutorial for my first video back and just do a haul for you, like you can probably tell from the title of the video. Um, I feel like this year has just been a lot of talking about moving from one place to another. But hopefully this next one is going to be like a bit more of a permanent situation. But anyways, um, I did decide to stop buying makeup for this year until the beginning of next year. And so I kind of decided to go out and just buy everything that I've been wanting and everything that I know I'm going to need. Alright, so I'm going to dive into what I got from Beautylish first because I only got two things from them. And the first one was the original Beauty Blender. And if you're like me, you're probably sick and tired of hearing about this damn thing. Um, there's so much hype around it and so much like love going for this in the YouTube community, in the beauty community. Everybody loves this. And I decided to try them out finally because... In $19 a piece, they're not the cheapest cosmetic sponges. So I've tried every every cosmetic sponge out there from Walgreens, from Target, from Walmart, from uh, Real Techniques, from Sephora. I basically tried everything out there except for this. And so I figured I would finally kind of dive into this and see if it's as amazing as people say it is because if it's not as great as it's kind of hype up to be or if it's almost as good as the ones I've been trying I'm probably not gonna get this again um, because it is 1995 for one little sponge so if it's subpar then I'm probably gonna just chuck this out of wall but I'm going to leave all of my judgment for it until I actually start using it because for all I know in a couple of weeks I'm like this is the most amazing thing out there and I'm never going to buy anything ever again. So I'm excited to try this. Um, I was going to get the dual pack that came with two. I was like two, I think it was an option of like two black or two pink or whatever. And I was going to get that one because that one's only like $28. But um... I figured what if I don't like it, I don't want to have two sitting there that I'm never going to use. So I just picked up the original one, it's pink. I kind of hate pink, but we'll live with it. And then the last thing I got from Beautylish is the Beauty So Clean Cosmetic Sanitizing Mist. 
And this came with a little spray thing. I haven't put it on there because I haven't opened this yet. Um, that was my dog, sorry. Um, I actually got this because I've been doing a lot of makeup on people lately. And I'm so sick of just going into eyeshadows and then wiping them off without like an actual like sanitizer, just alcohol. Um, I've heard amazing things about this from Soka Lump 79, from Vintage Tacky, of them picking it up at IMAX and then just completely loving it. And I figured I would just pick it up. This one is the one that's meant for pressed powders and eyeshadows and cream foundations. Um, I don't know if the mist is safe for like cream shadows, um, lipstick, stuff like that because I do know that they have like wipes that are meant for that. So I don't know necessarily if these are safe for lipsticks, but I will figure it out because I, the cosmetics wipes look adorable and they're really cheap compared to um, other ones that I've seen. Speaking of prices, this one is 4 fluid ounces of product and this one costs $16. So it's not that expensive considering how much product you're getting because I, there are other stuff out there that are double the price for half of this amount. So that is the last thing I got from Beautylish. Next, I think I'm going to go into uh, Sephora because surprisingly I only purchased one thing at Sephora and that is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> so I, I live right next to the CCDSU campus and there's just a lot of mess going on over there right now. Um, Anyways, this is the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I actually got this as a sample in one of Sephora's like little Beauty Insider kits. Um, I got the sample about three months ago and I used it up so quick. It takes a lot for me to actually fall in love with the face primer because I'm very picky with what I put on my face. And um, this was just amazing. Anyways, this one was only $18 for 0.33 ounces. And it actually took me a really long time to purchase this because I didn't know that they sold it in this size. I was aware that they sold it in the big size that was like four, $52. And I wasn't about to like drop that kind of money for a face primer. That's basically all I got from Sephora. The only, uh, the only other thing that I got from there was this little sample set from... Bare Minerals, it's their Primetime Face Primer and their, what is this called, Bare Minerals Ready SPF 20 Powder Foundation. This is too light for me, but I actually like to keep powders that are a bit too light because I can toss them in my kit or I can just wear them in eyeshadows. So, either way, it kind of works. Um, but besides that, that's completely everything that I got from Sephora. So I scooted up for you that way I'm closer I can show you the products a little bit better and I can do some swatches for you. So anyways now on to the fun stuff the stuff that I splurged really really hard on because this is yeah, It's on Mac <laughs> The first two things I'm going to show you are the non makeup makeup stuff I decided to pick up some of like the little beauty to go stuff and so the first thing I picked up was the MAC Baby Fix Plus. Um, I absolutely love this stuff. I swear by this stuff. I'm almost done using the full sized one. It's taken me like a year and a half but I'm almost done with it. And um, I figured I'd grab a little baby one to just kind of chuck in my purse and you can never go wrong with having a little review of this because then you can just get the full size and then refill this one. Anyways, love Fix Plus. Last thing I got from their, their Beauty to Go is their makeup wipes and this is the set of 30 for 10 bucks. I've been wanting to try these for like ever because everybody raves about how good they are and usually when you spend as much time at the counter as I do, you're constantly put, like using them to take off the swatches on your hands. So, um, 
I decided to just pick these up and see how they go. If they're not as amazing or they sting my eyes, I'll just use them to take off fallout. Or, like I said, swatches on my hand. Um, but, 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. And the Baby Fix Plus was also 10 bucks, which is about half price of, like, the full size. Anyways, for the rest of my MAC stuff, um, I'm going to go in order of, like, what I have the most to what I have the least. So, first things first is the MAC... Pro Conceal and Correct Palette. This one is in the shade, I think it's medium deep. Yeah, medium deep. And it comes with all of these amazing concealers and correctors. And I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. You can't go wrong with these because these are 40. Ah, dropped it. Because <laughs> these are 40 bucks for six conceal or like four concealers and two correctors. You can't go wrong with that. Anyways, on to this. I'm so excited for this. This is one of Max Cole Power Eye Pencils in the shade Raven. This came out with the, I think it's Divine Nights collection. It's their holiday collection. And it has such cute packaging because it's just black with gold letterings. Um, and it is the most beautiful color. It is... If you know MAC, you've probably used the color, or you have used or seen the color sketch at one point or another. That is one of my absolute favorite colors in the MAC collection. Um, so, when I saw this, this is basically sketch, one shade darker, and put into a pencil. Um, it's so, it's such a pretty, pretty color for the holidays. Um, it's kind of like a blackened burgundy with gold glitter. Um, I'm I'm just so in love with this and I can't wait to use it. I know for sure I'm going to be doing something with this and with Sketch just because they go together so well. Next I got... I'm keeping the lip stuff for last. I got two Pro Palette refills from MAC. This one is in the shade Cranberry. This is kind of one of the shades that I have been wanting for years and I just don't know why I never got it um which is a beautiful shimmery cranberry color like there's no other way to describe it this is the pro oh I hate that I hate that the pro pro ones don't tell you what finish they are I think I think this might be a Velux pro I have no idea but it's got the most beautiful pigmentation. And then the last eyeshadow I got is a MAC Pro color. And this one is in the shade Coral. This is also just one that I used, that I bought to finish off my Reds palette. Um, this is just a perfect coral color. Like, there is no other way to describe it. It's just a amazing pigmented coral um and that's what i love about mac pro colors is that they're all really pigmented this is one of the um matte colors in the pro collection and what i love about the matte colors is that they're kind of a matte squared finish if you're familiar with that like finish from mac so they're really pigmented they're a little bit powder powdery and a little bit hard to blend <laughs> But they are so pigmented and have such long staying power that you can't really go wrong. Alright, so now it's time for the last part of my haul. And my absolute favorite part of the haul. Because it's like all involving lips. <laughs> my favorite thing that MAC offers are their lip liners and their lipsticks. So, I'm going to start off with the lipsticks that I got. I actually got two. These two lipsticks are like completely different sides of the spectrum and you're gonna see what I mean when you see them um, I got two like I said one is in the shade Paramount and one is in the shade Vegas Vault Vegas Vault is this beautiful orangey coral shade this is a, an amplified finish so it's got a lot of color to it. This is a shade that I've heard a lot of people talk about on here. It's a very much loved color by a lot of people. And I'm, I was just kind of scared to buy it because corals don't necessarily always work on me. But I decided to give it a try. I love the color. I love the shade. And 
can't wait to wear this and i love the finish because even though it isn't amplified it is a little bit creamy so it, it's not going to have that much staying power but it does have a very, very nice kind of creamy glossy finish to it and next one is paramount which is this beautiful like red base brown like i said they're completely different sides of the spectrum paramount is a satin shade um and i'm just so excited to wear this because with my skin tone i feel like it would actually work especially if i put kind of a darker um, red base under it it would bring out the redness to this color so those are the two lipsticks that i got i'm super excited about and the last things i purchased are lip liners i kind of went crazy with lip liners so the first one i got is beat and it's this beautiful beautiful shade and i just can't get enough of it this with max and passion lipstick looks amazing because it it makes impassion such a nice wearable color rather than like this really really bright corally pink anyways such a big love affair with this and it gave me problems from the get-go but i love it now um anyways next is max cherry lip liner you've probably heard a million and a half things about this this is just a basic true red classic red lip liner um this one I'm just I'm super excited about it because it's such a nice like look at that pigmentation it's just non-stop color there is no patchiness no nothing so excited for that one um next one is half red another one of those shades that I was iffy about when I first saw it but when I swatched it it's it was just an amazingly unique color for me not something that I had ever really seen before this is more of a mauve I guess taupey plum. I don't really know how to describe it, but that's what it looks like. I'm super excited. Going on to finish this, this one is in the shade Burgundy. And it's just a classic burgundy shade. There's nothing really special about it. Um, this wasn't one that I had intentions on buying. It wasn't one that I was like, oh, I need this color in my life. It was just something that I had gone to the matte counter and that day I was wearing Viva Glam 3 on my lips. And um, I was talking about how it was really hard for me to find a lip liner to match Viva Glam 3. So they matched um, burgundy to it which is that one it's just a really nice classic burgundy um but they match it and i love it i have a lot of colors that are like this but nothing that's like this anyways <laughs> finally my last thing on this haul is a final lip liner in the shade plum again from mac this is just a beautiful it almost looks brown on the like color but it is, it's just a classic plum. Um, there's not much I can say to it. I really love this. The reason I got this lipstick actually was because there's a girl on Instagram. Her name is Viva Glam Tiffany. Um, and she used this and paired it with Nikki, Viva Glam Nikki too. And you guys know how hard it is to pair Viva Glam Nikki with anything and make it wearable. I know, I'm just really excited to try everything out. I've had this, I've had this hoarded, like in the back for almost two weeks now because i wanted to film this video for you so i'm kind of excited to actually start playing with everything but that's it for my haul that's it for my little comeback video i guess i'm really excited to start filming for you guys again i'm gonna try and get some tutorials i'm gonna do my best to just bring more stuff out to you i know this isn't gonna be my best video that i've shot ever for all i know this could either be the worst video i've shot or the best video i shot i don't know i'm not gonna get to edit this for another week or so so this is gonna come out a good week or two after i've actually filmed this so hopefully i'm back soon and hopefully i get more time to record actual tutorials for you i'm i feel like i'm gonna be more active on this site than I was last year because last year I was going through a lot and this year I'm kind of in my zone so I will see you guys next time hopefully you enjoyed my massive annoying haul and my inability to speak or 
do things right. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you have. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.